Hey guys, it's Mylon Clark from Blue Loon. Today we are doing a time lapse. So this is a sketch, just to get it out of the way so there's no guessing. This is Haley Williams from Paramore, and it's inspired by their new music video and song, Hard Times. That's the newest single that's just come out for their album, After Laughter, which I cannot wait to hear. So I'm obsessed, obviously, so I'm doing some fan art. So first we laid down a sketch layer that we're going to make invisible later, just to sketch out the general idea of the image that we wanted. Now I'm going in with heavier line work with a different preset brush on a separate layer that's on top of it. And this is a layer that we're going to keep. So you can see I just made that invisible. Now we're doing some text. And I think it's important to note that an artist never gets it perfect the first time. If you do, you are nuts. Um, and I don't know how you do that. So now we, on a layer that's behind the line work, we are coloring. So that way, as you color, you're not overlapping the black lines and you're not having to go over them again. And at the start of hard and then at the end of times, it goes from light to dark. And then we're going backwards from the end of times to the start of hard in a purple shade at the bottom with a lower opacity. And what that means is basically it's not as opaque. As, so it's not a solid color. You can kind of see through it like... um like a window pane. Um, if you've ever painted a window, that kind of glass, you can see through it, but there's still color. And as we're going back to hard, it's going from a purple color more to a pinky coral color. That's my cat sneezing, if you can even hear that. And then at the top, we're going into more oranges and yellows just to make it pop a little bit more. They are complementary colors, yellows and oranges with blues and greenish blues, those are complementary. So now in the lips, we are lowering the opacity quite a bit so we can build the color that we want rather than having to erase. So in the corners of the mouth and in the bottoms and the very tops, you want more shading because lips are round. So the furthest point of your lip that's out is going to catch the most light and the surrounding areas are going to be the ones with the shade. So now we're filling in the glasses, which this is inspired from the music video. Again, if you have not seen it, you need to. It's awesome, and so is the song. So we are laying down the regular blue color. Now we're going in with that darker blue. This is all supposed to be kind of like inspired by the 80s and some poppy punk going on. It's really cool. I like the vibe of it. And then we're just adding in some white on top of it. And again, this is behind the sketch layers. So... That's why it's coming out so clean. If this was all one layer, it would be very messy and not come out good at all. So now we're shading this, the glasses. I've picked a darker blackish brown color, lowered the opacity a lot to again, build the coverage that we want to create a really nice shade. So now we're going onto the face. Obviously the glasses are over the face. It's gonna create a shadow onto the nose and the nose is not completely flat. so. The point that is out furthest from your face is going to catch the most light and the nostril parts which are closer to your cheeks are going to get more shade. And then of course the edges of your face which are further back and usually draped by your hair or whatever are going to get more shade. So just playing with the opacity is really helpful. Same with hands. If you just look at your own hand, you can kind of see how it catches the light and how your fingers will make shade on your other fingers in the palm of your hand. So for the fingers, we went in with a darker color first, but for the palm, we're going in with a lighter color first because the surface of the palm has more light shade than it does dark. So it's easier to build that way. For the neck, you can see that I did not like how dark it was, so I erased it and then I went back in with building more opacity, which I cannot stress how important that is in painting, drawing, whatever you are doing. It will make for the easiest way to shade. So now for the hair, she is pretty platinum blonde at this point, but she's known for having crazy colored hair. So I didn't want to leave it completely blank. So that's why we put in that really pale yellow shade. So now on the back, we've created another layer that's all the way in the back and just coloring it in. So don't worry, it's not gonna stay overlapped onto the other parts of the images that we just did. And we're kind of just mimicking 
the same things going on in her sunglasses and then adding a bit more. So that's me finding my soft pastel brush, which took me a minute. And going in with some complementary colors. And the way that purple kind of interacts with the yellow is really nice in that brush preset. Uh, that's just a quick note, I really like it. So we're going back into our original brush and putting those white dots back in that are in the sunglasses. And now we are erasing any parts that bled into the forefront image. So any parts on her, we're erasing out. So do you see why this is, if this was one layer, this would be increasingly difficult. Um, so you really want to master your layer styles if this is something you want to get into. Now, lastly, for her hair, we're adding in some more color because it's necessary, because it's Haley fucking Williams. And there we have it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, go to bluelune.com. And thank you very much.